Today we're going to play around with various shapes to build a simple little rocket spaceship. We'll use basic shapes to not only make creating the illustration easy, but it also gives it a stylized cartoon-like appearance. After building the outlines, we'll add some colour to bring it to life. Then I'll show you some techniques for producing different kinds of illustration styles. So open up Adobe Illustrator and create a new document. Use whatever size is your default, but set the colour mode to RGB. The size of the artboard doesn't matter at all because we'll be hiding the artboard from under the view menu anyway. This gives us a nice large area to work with. Head back under the view menu and make sure you have smart guides enabled. These will help you snap and align your shapes later. I've set out a bunch of squares with preset fills as a makeshift colour palette. If you want to follow along, create a red of 2317671, a slightly darker red of 1704949, a light grey of 2322230, a dark blue of 5642271 and a pale yellow of 2462472201. You could save these colours as swatches so they're easily accessible. Reset your fill and stroke settings back to the default black and white, then select the ellipse tool. Draw a long oval shape as the rocket body. Select the pen tool, then hold the alt key while clicking the top and bottom points to remove the bezier handles and convert them into corners. Use the ellipse tool to draw another smaller oval near the bottom, overlapping the bottom portion to make space for the thruster. Switch back to the selection tool in order to add the main body to the selection while holding the shift key, then click the horizontal align centre button from the align panel. Activate the pathfinder panel, then click the minus front button to punch out the oval shape from the rocket body. Change the tool to a rectangle and draw a basic shape as the thruster. Toggle to the selection tool to add both items to the selection and align them with the horizontal align centre button. Select just the rectangle, then right click and choose Arrange Center Bike so that the fill of the main body shape disguises where the two shapes overlap. Use the ellipse tool to draw a large circle that will represent two of the wings. Hold Shift to keep it perfectly circular. Select both the circle and the main rocket body with the selection tool, then give the body an extra click to make it the key object. This will ensure it doesn't move out of place. Instead, the circle will move into position when you click the horizontal align center button. Select just the circle, then go to Edit and Copy, followed by Edit and Paste in front. Move the duplicate shape downwards while holding the Shift key to keep it straight. Shift and click the original to add both shapes to the selection, then click the minus front button from the Pathfinder window to punch out the overlapping circle, leaving a crescent shape. Reposition the wings relative to the body if necessary, then go to Arrange Center Bike to disguise the overlap. Use another oval shape to draw a third wing. Use the smart guides to align it so it matches the size of the other two, then centre it up. Select the pen tool and alt and click the top and bottom points to convert them into corners. Overlap another circle at the top of the rocket over the nose area. An alternative to the pathfinder panel is the shape builder tool. Select the rocket body and the new circle, then hold the alt key and click the excess to quickly remove it. Draw another oval that covers the bottom edge of this nose shape. Switch over to the Selection tool and select both shapes, then centre them up, making sure to add the nose cone as the key object so it doesn't move out of place. Trim away this shape using either the Pathfinder panel or the Shape Builder tool. With the nose cone still selected, go to Object Path and Offset Path, and to 10 pixels in the options. Add the rocket body to the selection by clicking while holding the Shift key, then alt and click the excess to trim it away with the Shape Builder tool. Finish off the rocket with a little window using a basic circle. Centre it up, then copy and paste in front a duplicate. Scale this duplicate down slightly while holding the Alt and Shift keys. To add some extra details, use the pen tool to draw a dividing line halfway through the nose cone and wing. The smart guides make it easy to snap perfectly to the centre. Zoom out and draw a selection around all the shapes that make up the rocket. Alt and drag a duplicate to save a copy of the original. We'll colour the other one in. Since the illustration isn't completely made out of fully closed shapes, we can't simply alter the fill colours. Instead, we'll use the Live Paint Bucket. Select all the artwork and then give it a click with the Live Paint Bucket tool. Switch over to the Eyedropper tool and deselect everything before sampling the first colour from those swatch shapes. Switch back to the Live Paint Bucket and click the relevant areas of the illustration to have this colour applied. 
Repeat the process with each of the other colours, using the eyedropper to sample it as a fill, then apply it with the live paint bucket tool. This is where saving those colours as swatches would have been slightly quicker. You could then just click the swatch without having to toggle back and forth between tools. Because of the overlapping shapes, the live paint tool needs applying to multiple segments to fully colour some shapes. Don't forget to change the colour of the strokes to fit in with this colour scheme. Activate the stroke setting in the toolbar, then use the eyedropper tool to sample the dark blue colour. Be sure to hold the shift key while clicking, otherwise it will sample the appearance of the shape and apply the dark blue as a fill. Bump up the stroke weight to two points from under the stroke panel. Make a duplicate of this coloured version of the rocket illustration. There's a clever little trick that can really help make your illustrations stand out. Go to Objects and Expand to apply the live paint effects, then copy and paste a copy of the rocket on top of itself. Click the Unite button in the Pathfinder panel to create an outline. Increase the stroke weight to four points to generate a thicker outline. This outlined look is my favourite illustration style, but there are loads of other art styles you can try. Make another duplicate of the original rocket and see what it looks like with no outlines at all by clearing the stroke. This is more like the trendy flat look that's popular at the moment. Make another duplicate of this flat style rocket and go to Object Expand again to apply the live paint effects. Repeatedly right click and select Ungroup to completely break it apart. Select both halves of the nose cone and unite them with the Pathfinder panel. Do the same with the wing and then with the body where there's lots of individual pieces to select and merge together. Draw a selection around all the shapes and press Command and C and Command and F to copy and paste in front. Replace all the fills with a black to white gradient. Switch over to the transparency panel and change the blending mode to overlay. The black portion of the gradient will darken the underlying colour slightly, while the white will brighten it. The overlay mode in particular also adds some vibrancy, but you could also try out soft light for a subtler look, or even screen or multiply for just shadows or highlights. Deselect everything, then activate the gradient tool. Hold the command key to toggle the selection tool in order to select each shape in turn, then click and drag to alter the gradient direction. Compare all the rockets to see the range of art styles we've made from this one illustration. I'm going to choose my favourite to finish it off into a neat little graphic. Draw a selection around all the elements and group them together, so you can move it around without losing any pieces. Draw a circle as a container, then give it a dark blue fill. Line it up centrally with the align panel. Give it a slightly lighter stroke with a 20 point weight. Sample the pale yellow colour from the palette that we haven't used yet, then draw a little circle. Click the new symbol icon in the symbol panel, then delete this shape. Grab the symbol spray tool and begin painting loads of circles to represent the basics of a smoke cloud underneath the rocket. Switch to the symbol sizer tool and click around to randomise the size of some of the circles to help fill in some of the gaps. Use the symbol shifter tool to bunch them together and move them around to close any gaps where the blue backdrop is still showing through. Select the main circle container and copy and paste it. Bring it to the top with the arrange bring to front command then hold shift and select the symbol group. Right click and choose make clipping mask to trim the yellow circles to fit inside the container circle. Draw a rectangle using this pale yellow colour aligned to the rocket's thruster. Use the shortcut for the arrange send backwards command which is command and the square bracket key or control on windows until the rectangle sits underneath the rocket. Head to object envelope distort make with warp then alter the settings to shell lower with the horizontal option. Configure the bend and vertical sliders to produce a blast that flows into the rest of the cloud. So I hope you found the tips in this tutorial useful. If you did, be sure to hit the subscribe button to stick around for more. If you're a bit of a space nerd, you can pick up this artwork as a t-shirt from my little merch store. Join the mailing list at Spoon Graphics if you want to keep up with all my content beyond YouTube. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.